Hey everyone! So I got another goodie box. <laughs> Jenny Post sent me another goodie box of the snap jewelry. So today I thought we'll go through everything. I'll show you how to glue the snaps, I'll show you how to cut them out, and I'll show you how to put them together. So first of all, um, thank you Jenny for sending me another goodie box. I love these. She always sends me everything I need to do a video. So I just want to pull all this out. So now she has the little gingy snaps too, which are tiny ones that fit in some of the new jewelry. So for earrings and stuff, they're not as heavy and it makes it much, much better. So these are our 20 mil and these will be the 18 mil glass that we'll be gluing on skins. Uh, these are 10 and 12, so the 10 for the glass, 12 for the snapper, and 16 for the glass, and 18 for the snap. So that's what it, your supplies will look like. And that's all you'll really need for supplies as far as putting the jewelry together. So she also sent me some little cards to put snaps on for resale. So everything is available in her shop that you'll need. Um, if you're doing craft fairs, these are, are hot sellers, guys, hot sellers. And after you glue your snaps, you can put them on these boards to let them dry. And I bought a lot of these, let me tell you. Because when I start gluing, I just keep going. <laughs> so I thought we'll start with um, the necklaces first. I already sorted out so we wouldn't um, go through a bunch of bunch of stuff. Jenny puts every single item that you buy in these cute little organza bags and after you make your jewelry you could put them back in there for resale. But she sent me this pendant and this will take one of the tiny little um, gingy snaps. And then she sent me this adorable little turtle that I haven't bought from her yet. I buy a lot of supplies from her. He's cute and he's got little black glass eyes. So he'd be absolutely adorable with um, a snapper in there. Once we get this all done, um, I'll show you some of the way to put the snaps in. Um, she sent this beautiful heart. And most of these are available in her shop on Etsy. And I'll have more information at the end of the video for you about that. And also there will be a direct link to her Etsy shop underneath this video. So she also gets a little fancy and she adds things um, to a pendant. And then this way you can add two snaps. So this is like a sea glass. And then you have your pendant and your snap. And between that is a cute little mermaid. So that's a cute pendant. Very beachy. Definitely will be making that one so I can wear it to the beach next year for our retreat. And of course the leaf pendant. Um, I have purchased quite a few of these from her. This is a good seller. Cute. And then of course we have a cross. Everybody loves a nice cross necklace. So this one does have the little um, crystals in it along with the bigger snap. So you'd be putting up probably the 20 mil in that one. But you can do the smaller one too, just not the gingies. I call them gingies. <laughs> 12 mils. <laughs> and then nice teardrop pendant. Um, these would probably be your best sellers because they um, are just unique. They're not over decorated. They're uh, nice and simple. Gosh, I was lost there for words. I'm going to shut this one light off. I think it's a little too bright there. And then we have this one. And I believe this is for a Gingy. Yeah, that's a new pendant that she got. It's so pretty. I like that one a lot. But I like to show you everything that she has in her shop because then that way you kind of 
know what you're looking for when you go in. And then this beautiful pendant. I've done quite a few of these. They're very pretty. And then this one is another one of my faves. So they're very inexpensive to purchase from Jenny. Of course, you'll have a code to use, um, so you'll get them even cheaper. Okay, so that was those, and now I have bracelets. She really spoiled me on these. <laughs> I love this bracelet. It's just a simple black leather bracelet with one snap. And then we have some gingy earrings. These are posts, so they go right in on the back. So you'll put one, you know, one each of the little small ones in that one. And then this is another bracelet. Some of these bracelets take a lot of snaps, so you'll, of course, want to price them accordingly. But that's really pretty, and you can put lots of little snappers in it. You could do rainbow colors. And then she sent me this one. I do have this one. I believe mine's black that I bought of this one. And these are the, um, I can never get part. they're magnet clips, so they stay nice and tight. They're pretty. And then there's a pair of dangle gingies that are just plain silver. And then she sent me a pair of dangle gingies with um, the little crosses on them. These are really pretty too. Okay, so let me just pull out these this box. Oops, there's a couple more bracelets in there. I have to toss the box out of the way. This bracelet's interesting. I've never seen this one before, so I'm definitely going to be making that one. I really like that one. And then she's got this one here. That's rainbow. And it's a stretchy. So they go on, you wear your little snap all day. Change the colors out every day. So it's it's a lot of fun working with that. And I love that she puts everything in an organza bag. Um, I box my jewelry when I sell it, so um, but if you're just starting out and you don't have all those supplies, this comes in handy. So let's push this aside for a minute and I'm gonna show you. Um, how I glue those. Now a lot of you know if you're watching my channel that we pull skins. So you'll see me pull out that photo paper from the side here and then I grab my palette knife and I smear some paint on it. So this is just one container. I have several. <laughs> of These are all my skins that I save from paintings. These are all brand new ones that I haven't done anything with yet. If you feel like they're sticking together, just do that and they come apart. But I've got plenty to play with in this stack. These will be all new snaps that we'll have available soon. But I have a couple I pulled out just to play with on camera. Um, I was going to pull you down, but I think you might be close enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take a... 20 mil and a 16 mil just to show you how we do that. And I don't have any that are dried on skins to show you how to cut them out, but I'll show you what they look like when you do cut them out. So I use diamond glaze to glue the glass cap on to the skin. One drop is all you need. My bottle's getting empty because I glue so many of these. Look, and I played with that before the camera came on. There we go. So one drop, 
and you want to push it down. Find a spot on your skin that you like. Um, these are magnified cabs, so they enhance where you're putting it. Kind of blows it up a little bit, but I like to hold it for about 10 or 15 seconds just to make sure that the glue comes out the edges a little bit. Um, you can wipe this off with a Q-tip. It will probably save you some pain on your hands when you're cutting them out. Um, but I just didn't do that yet today. So I just squeeze it down really well, make sure it's all adhered, give it a look over, and then I set them aside to dry flat. So let me do one more on this one. My glue's at the end, so that's why it's taking me forever to get a drop out. <laughs> I'm the mad gluer. So I have to pick a spot here. And I think I'll go right here. So once you get it on there, you can move it around a little bit before you lose your glue. But if you can see, I have glue coming out the edge. So I like to just wipe that off a little bit. It makes it so much better when you're cutting them out. Now these you want to set aside and not touch them for at least two days. You want to have that glue nice and dry and not have that edges lift or have the middles lift. Um, I always double check to make sure I don't have any bubbles. Like I have to let it sit in for a while, I'll give it another squeeze. And then I'll go ahead and do this one again. And then I let them dry for a couple of days. So after they're dry, I go ahead and cut them all out. And I have oodles and oodles that are cut out that need to be worked yet. Um, I have other glass cabs in here as well. But I thought I'll do a couple with you. We'll pick those two. So this will be my little Sunday night job while I'm watching TV. <laughs> um, I buy these coarse to medium nail files at Sally's Beauty Supply. Only because when you're pushing those glass caps down and the glue comes out the edge, if you're not getting it all off, you may have trouble fitting it in your setting. So I like to just go like this and get that edge of that paper nice and smooth. And you'll see where I can peel some of that glue off. That's what you want to get rid of. So I just go through and do this you know, around at least once. And I check with my fingernail to make sure I'm getting it all off. I could sit for hours and hours to do these because they're I'm so picky. I want them done right the first time and not have to go, oh no, it doesn't fit, and try to get it back out is so hard. So if you do it right the first time, you won't have any problems. So that's all you have to do. Just a simple little file across. You're not ruining anything because your design is already on the cab so this is just getting the excess glue and paper off now if you're dipping these in paint um, you might want to spray varnish the backs of them when they're dry just so that they'll stick better in your um, setting you really want something for that E6000 to adhere to and that'll be the glue that we use to glue these into the um, settings. And that's this one here. I have a big tube, but it's all scrunched up, so this looks better on camera. <laughs> so let's get this one finished, and then we're going to glue. And I can show you how to glue those in. But if you can see, I'm pulling pieces of that glue off the side. This file is like the best idea ever. Um, I do have some metal files out in Ellen's shed that I'm going to go try to find tomorrow. Because I go through a ton of these. Um, but of course, I do probably 100, 150 snaps at a time. So for me to just use one up for 100 snaps, it's not bad. But the better one you buy, the longer it'll last. 
All right, so see how much paper I got off of there? Yeah. So after you get them all cut out and you get them filed, then you're going to set them in your snap. Make sure that's the right size. Yep, okay. So these have been drying. Um, my mom and I actually did these at the beach, so that was back in the beginning of May. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a dot of E6000 on the back. And I put it on and squeeze down, but I like to turn it because that dot of glue would just sit in the middle, so I turn it to get it on all the edges. And then you have it in your snap. And then when you're done doing that, thank you Jen for sending me another one of these. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll fill them up. You can lay them flat like that to dry, but I like to set them in these because then you can sort them by color and I have all mine sorted by color it's just easier when you're making jewelry so I can put my little dot of glue on there and it's, I don't put it right in the center because it will just go down in the hole but I do it a little off center and then there's another one so I just snap them right in there and let them dry easy peasy now, Jen sells these, I believe, in 30s, 50s, and 100s. Um, the glass comes with them, so if you order 30 snaps, you'll get 30 pieces of glass. And I think she might give you one or two extra pieces of glass in case they get broken. Okay, so I have these two that I pulled out from my um, stash of 100s. <laughs> well, not so many anymore. Jen's been selling quite a few of them for me. Um, let's take the cross. So at your shows, you could leave all these pendants plain and let your customers pick what snap they would want. Or you can put one snap in and just sell extra snaps. And of course, you'll need to get chains. And I believe Jen just got some chains in, so you'll be able to purchase. Um, 18 inch is pretty standard. 20 is probably for someone that likes their necklaces a little longer. With this style pendant, I would probably go 20 inch. Um, let's grab this one. Something simple. And I'll snap that one in there. And look like that. Plain and simple. I don't know why that's stuck. Oh, it was backwards, that's why. Plain and simple, and they're so pretty. You can change them out every day with clothes that you wear. Um, make some black ones and some purple and some reds. So every outfit you wear, you could wear the same necklace every day, just change out the color. And the same with the cross. You could do black and silver and red and just change them out. You can take that snap off of there interchangeable and look at that two different necklaces with one tricky hand snap huh so that's it for making snap jewelry easy peasy um, very affordable you can make a ton of money selling these at craft fairs so that's for sure so um, because you're a subscriber to my channel and most of you are members of the Parage Posse on Facebook. Jen has offered us a discount. Uh, you'll get 30% off if you use the code Posse at checkout. P-O-S-S-E. And hit her up on Etsy, Jenny in Color. And I will put the link to her um, Etsy shop below. So you can click right on and go right to her Etsy shop. So use that code. Make yourself some beautiful jewelry. Have fun making the snaps. Um, it's as bad as pouring paint. It's very addicting, as you can see. When you start looking at one of your skins, and you're like, oh, I want one there, I want one there, I want one there, you'll end up filling the whole thing. Um, I have some that I use almost the whole thing. But I still save them, because you might want another color off of there, you know? So um, I don't throw them away. After you cut them out, save them because there might, with these little gingy snaps, 
you can stick one of those tiny little, let me show you how tiny they are. I haven't done a lot of these because they are very tiny and they're tedious to cut out, but put one little tiny gingy snap there. You could fill that whole card up and make tons of earrings. And of course she has the jewelry now for the smaller snaps, so you can have a lot of fun with those too. So go check it out. Get yourself some jewelry from Jen. Support another artist. Um, she's the one that brought me into this um, a few months ago. And I'll do anything to help her out because I, I believe in this product. I have sold quite a few pieces. And Jen has been selling the snaps for me. She's been selling buckets of snaps for me. And um, nothing like paying it forward, guys. So use the code. Posse, get 30% off and hit up her Etsy shop, Jenny in Color, and use the link below to go directly to her. But don't forget, it's at checkout. Okay? Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.